Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty. And today I wanted to start taking you through my closet clean out. I do not think that we're gonna get through everything today. I'm starting a little bit late. I'm literally drinking my sleepy time tea right now. So, I think we're just gonna start with what is hanging up in this closet. I do have a second closet, but I keep my fancy dresses and my, I guess my heavier jackets, not just like my sweaters and stuff, and so I can go through those separate, unless we have time tonight. So we're wearing one of the things I thrifted recently. If you watched my most recent Instagram post, you will see everything I got, and I will definitely show you guys that today. I think it's also really good to remember what you actually like to wear, and it's okay if you don't like to wear the same things you liked to wear like six months ago because it's a different time right now. So things I love to wear are caftans, big flowy dresses, flowy um, robe, kimono, cardigan things with leggings. I love dresses. I love vintage. I basically love polyester. I actually hate polyester, but everything I love is polyester. Um, I love wearing A-line skirts with like a cool like rocker t-shirt or like basically a men's really cool um, printed tee. Um, I either cut it off at the, like as a crop or I tie it in a knot. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys can see, I think this will be okay. Um, this is one of my um, rattan counter stools that I bought off of Kate Drew Designs, I believe. Cat Drew, Cat Drew or Kate Drew, anyway. Austin person, she buys and sells, um, great find. So this will be for the new house, but of course I have to like stay in here. Okay, so I hang up, I live in a 1962 home and the closets are very, very tiny. And so I use this rack here, I hate, I did not want to do this. And once I did it, once I was um, convinced by Freddie, I'm very thankful I was convinced because this works so, so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the things off. This is my Hood Rich hoodie. I love hoodies. I love, love, love hoodies, which is part of the dilemma I have of like dressing comfortably and dressing cute because when it's freezing and I wanna be comfy and warm, I do not want to wear cute clothes. I literally wanna wear a hoodie and leggings. So I'm keeping this because this is new and I love the neon. I will never get rid of this because it's oversized and rainbow and it's got a hood and it's amazing. Got that from Gabby. I am keeping my Kung Fu sweatshirt. This is my zip up one, which I love and it's really soft. And I need to remember to buy oversized hoodies because when they're too small, they're just really uncomfortable. Let's put this scarf to the side. Um, this is my pajama sweater, so I wear this at night because it matches. Um, I recently bought a bunch of pajamas, a bunch, meaning like three pair. Um, really affordable, my version of affordable. Um, and this goes with a lot of the pajama like combos that I have. And I really wanted to just like have matching PJs. And so this is like my warm, cozy sweater to go with my pajamas. Um, even though I don't actually sleep with this on, it's nice to like walk around the cold home. Clearly I'm not getting rid of any of these. <laughs> I actually purge quite a bit, so I'm not, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna get rid of, but it's really cool to see what I have and remember um, if I like it or not. Um, this is my other Kung Fu hoodie. Um, it's a little smaller um, and it's got like a lot of discoloration, but I don't know, <laughs> I just can't get rid of it. Um, nope, never. My, my chemical romance hoodie. It looks like it has pee on it, but never getting rid of it. Right, Ariel? Like, we don't get rid of this stuff. And then this one, I think, is the hardest. I'm gonna put this in my baby pile. I just, there's a lot of great memories for this. Um, I bought this when I went to support my brother graduating from boot camp in the San Diego area. And it doesn't really match anything but it's actually really comfy, and so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Let's throw this on that bench. So I did wait till nighttime to film, and I don't really have a lot of good lighting in here, so bear with me. 
Sleepy time tea, take three. All right, this is a pile of my Halloween outfit, so I'm not gonna touch that. So this is literally all I have in this closet. I do have this big dresser right here that I will go through um, in another video. But how I put these in order is from left to right, I do dresses, then skirts, then shirts and sweaters. And then I um, also, well, they were originally color coded, but not anymore. So we're just gonna start from the left and go. Okay, this is a fairly new dress. Man, <laughs> two major things happened in this dress. Uh, my baby sister got married last year and I wore this to uh, her rehearsal dinner. I really love the colors. Um, I love the flowiness and the um, sheerness of it. Um, and then I also wore it to my mom's funeral. <laughs> it's not funny at all, but there's no way in hell I'm getting rid of this. Besides the fact that I just think it's really beautiful, it does hold a lot of memory and I think that it's okay to hold on to things with memories like this um, or whatever is special to you. I don't think, like this fits me, fine, it's beautiful, but let's just say it didn't fit me. Um, my gut feeling would be to get rid of it, but this is just not gonna be let go. You know what I'm saying? Like it's okay to keep things sometimes that don't fit if it's a special thing, brings you joy, um, and just takes you back to that moment. Typically, when I go through my closet, I take literally everything out and I put it in a pile and I go through it separate. Um, but I really don't want to make that mess right now because once I do that, I don't want to put it back. Okay, so I think this is like a black caftan style dress. I think I wore this to Joe and Emily's wedding. It's a little big because there's um, a safety pin around the boobies. So I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile to try on and then maybe decide then. Um, yeah. All right, this one is super cool. So this is similar, right? It's another black basic, but it like bows up on the side. It's got a lot of interest. It's really deep in the front. Um, and it's short sleeve, which I actually really love because I can layer it. Um, it's not very often in Austin that we have cooler weather, but I think it's a little easier to um, layer than like a longer sleeve. Um, if I can find a picture of me wearing this, I will. I wore this to our fashion show for school when I helped with that. And I wore this to, oh, when I did like the, um, this art event in Austin and I had a, um, I had some awesome friends model for me, some like hair and makeup. So I wore this and I'm definitely keeping this. Again, it's black, but it's got a little bit of interest. It's not as basic as that caftan that I just put down. So this is a yes. So those are two newer dresses and now we're gonna get into some vintage. So <laughs> I really love this and I cannot fit into it right now. So this is like a dirty, dusty rose. I don't know why I say dirty. Um, it's got this lace detail. It is a hundred percent polyester with these really adorable little flowers. You guys, it is so beautiful. Um, but it does fit a little weird, right? So it's like tight in some areas, but then it's a little bit big in the waist. And so I end up having to put a belt on, which I don't even own anymore because I cut it up to make some decor item in my bathroom. Um, so I feel like this needs to go into the maybe pile as much as I really, really love it. This is another vintage one. The love the way this fits. This is definitely sheer. I have to wear a slip under this. I mean, I guess I didn't have to, like you don't have to do anything. Um, but it's this gorgeous blue with like a fade ombre flower situation. And then it ombres the other direction at the bottom and it's pleated, really tiny pleats fits great um i think it still fits um and i love the color on me i love blue on me because my eyes are blue um even though my favorite color is green and i don't really have a lot of that so this is a keeper i only have a couple more um 
polyester uh, vintage dresses. This one, the colors in this dress is killer. It's like a Hawaiian dream, um, but like fancier. And this has the same pleating as that blue one. And this is, I mean, I'm clearly keeping this. I don't know if you can see it's like pleated tiny pleats even at the top oh my god it's all me elmo and of course you know it calls for a belt it's got these little um i really have no words i'm so sorry has these little threads on the side that i really i need to invest in like a skinny belt again this one my sister got me for my birthday along with a tambourine it was i think it's one of the most creative lovely gifts i've had like in my memory this is another short sleeve. It's got the little threads for a belt. Polyester. I had it um, hemmed a little shorter than it came. And it's got tiny, you guys, look at these beautiful, I don't know, okay, let's see how close we can get. Can you see these little white stars? Ah, uh, it's so beautiful. It's not gonna focus very fast because I don't have like the most professional camera, but that is a keeper. Keeper, keeper, keeper. This is my last vintage one and I took pictures with Freddie in this and I just love this so much. Again, the colors, um, the little fluff at the top. I was a little sausagey in it when we took pictures, but this is not something I'm getting rid of because it does still fit and it is gorgeous. And I tend to find dresses that are see-through and I do collect slips to wear underneath, so it's fine. Um, but the color combo in here is just amazing. Just really beautiful. And then the bottom has a couple of the little flowers on it. Again, I need a belt. This is one that I got at Dee Dee's Discounts, which is like a cheap version of Ross. Can you imagine? Thank you, Tracy, for introducing me to that. So this is just like an A-line dress. It's a velvet dusty rose peachy color um i wore it all the time last season i don't feel like i need to get rid of this because it's a great layering and i actually still wear it so we're gonna keep this one so these are similar in feel so this is almost the exact same shape right a little bit of an a-line it's like a t-shirt material got this one at ross i believe this is just a camo print super easy sometimes what i do is i even uh tuck one side in or tie them in a knot on the side with leggings and so it's more of like a tunic instead of a dress so it can kind of go both ways there um this is the same exact shape um so yeah these two the camo and the rose one i got at ross again super cheap fast fashion um this is an oversized t-shirt dress that i got off of shein um, I really love this. It just is very 90s to me, and I like wear it with docks. I wear it with my Vans or my gold tennies. Same kind of thing, tie it up in a knot and wear it with leggings, whatever. You can wear it as a dress or as a shirt. So this one is so freaking cute, and I have not worn it yet, so I need to put this to the side because I love this. I adore this. This is so, so fun, fits beautifully, does not feel cheap. It's thicker material. So this is a keeper. Um, same is how I feel about this. Now this has this, these pockets on the side, thicker material. It almost feels linen-y, but it's definitely not. Um, I, wanted, I wanted it to fit just a tiny bit smaller because it does swallow me a little bit and makes me look a little frumpy. But I figure because it's not the best material, it will shrink and then maybe it'll look a little better in the long run. But I love the color. This is definitely more of a dusty than the other colors I was showing. Um, this is one that I really, really love. I sweat so badly in it, but I love like the 90s print on this. These are all Shein. This one is freaking amazing. It's just an olive green, like an army green t-shirt style, but it's kind of cinched on the sides. Um, and that just, oh, it's really, really nice. It feels really comfortable. I don't worry about it like clinging anywhere. So like it's a great medium like body con and A-line mix. This is one of my favorite things in the world, but I washed it twice and I didn't even dry it. And it, I'm gonna lose it with these hangers. Um, but it, it shrunk, so I didn't even dry it, and it is so short. So I'm gonna keep it for now. 
Um, this one I wanted to return because it fits perfectly, but it's sewn poorly under the arms and it was on the reviews and I talked about this in my Shein haul. Um, but I'm actually going to sell this or donate or whatever because when I returned it, they just let me keep it and then gave me my money back. So I do really appreciate their customer service, but I don't want to keep something I'm not going to wear. So I'm going to put this to the side. Okay, this is not fast fashion, but this is something else that has shrunken a little bit. I think it accidentally got dried once or twice. This is Old Navy. This is one of my favorite colors of all time. It is a neon yellow. It is beautiful. I'm keeping it. I'm never getting rid of it. Stop trying to make me do it. No more non-vintage items. Um, I step on this one. This fits beautifully. It's got these sheer arms, long floral. I like the dark. It's beautiful for winter. But like, it's the kind where you're like, you're, and then like you try to pick your leg up to put it in the car. So I think this is going to be a maybe. Let me try it on again. See how I feel. Because, you know, I went thrifting the other day and I did buy a couple things. And I am, I have a like personal rule that when I buy new things, I need to get rid of something else. Now this I'm never getting rid of. This I got at Goodwill. This is a, I, I don't know if it's a nightgown or a dress, but I wear it as a dress and I get tons of compliments. Super easy to wear. Denim and Supply. Ralph Lauren. And then this one is killer. I love this one so much. I got this one at like a consignment, not a thrift, like not like a really cheap one. And it's super short and it, I think it still fits. I'm going to try it on, but this one, like I just feel a lot of happiness when I look at this. So I don't feel like I need to get rid of this one. Like I said, I knew I wouldn't get rid of too many things because I've, I purge quite often. Um, and even if I don't fully get rid of things, I put them in bags and just look at them you know once in a while and think okay did i miss this at all is this something that i can really get rid of there are i i, I tend to get rid of so many things that i dream about things i've gotten rid of in the past like there's this beautiful pastel if i can find a picture of this i will put it in put it up in the screen somewhere because you guys i should not have gotten rid of it should not should have known better all right let's get through some caftans like I said, my favorite one busted, so that's a sad day. Um, this is a brand new one that Freddie got me that the, it fits so freaking perfectly and way better. It gives just a little bit more shape than the ones I find at Ross. Um, not that I don't like those, but this just has like a little bit of um, body hugging in areas and it is another sheer thing. We got this off Amazon. He also bought me this one from Ross as well. It's inside out, but it's a lot thicker, so it's warmer. Um, and I don't really have much this color, and I really love it on. When I put it on, I feel really beautiful. Um, it's just a little bit warm for summer, which is kind of weird, um, but just because it's a little bit of, of a thicker material. Um, God dang it. Um, this is one, so I like the multi-pattern, multi-colored ones, but sometimes they feel a little cheesy to me. And this one I feel like is one that I found that doesn't feel cheesy. Like it feels a little bit more sophisticated. This is a $7 Ross find. And then this one is also another $7 Ross find. It's another caftan, the same exact fit as this. Um, and I tend to wear it over swimsuits and stuff because it's just... The, the sides have ripped up so like the slit is like all the way up to my waist and no one want to see that so this is a pantsuit my sister got me this for christmas this is from target i believe and this has a rainbow glitter thread going through it i'm not sure if you can see how beautiful that is but this is i wore this to christmas last year fits beautifully we'll be keeping it's brand new and i love a good pantsuit this I bought for a costume. I think I got this at the thrift store maybe. It's just a black, small black. No, I actually think I got this at Target. Wild Fable. Yeah, I think this is Target. Um, like a velvet. It's got some... Let's see if you can see the stripes in here. I just need to get better lighting so I can film at night. You can't see anything. What am I doing? Okay. So this is really short. Again, I wore it when I was um, X-Men. I was Storm. Um, 
I think I'm gonna keep it. No, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the, the maybe. This one is another thrift store find. It does not flatter me at all whatsoever. Um, but it is so freaking comfortable. It's got beautiful pockets and it's like one of those dresses that kind of comes like this, like woo. So it does not, it does not flatter me really at all. Um, but I do have pictures in this. My cousin took me, took, took me, took pictures of me in this, uh, when I was in California once. So I will put up some pictures if I can ever find myself, you know, wearing any of these clothes, I will be keeping this one. This one is a little small. I feel like I need to try it on and look at it. Like, here's the thing. I love dresses like this, but I wear a 36 quadruple D. And this is a spaghetti strap sundress. And so I just don't think those two go together. This is so beautiful. Like I want, I want to be able to wear this. And if I lost weight, my boobs would shrink and it would be fine. But you know, I don't know when that's gonna happen. Um, and it's got this, this bow in the back. It's inside out, of course. Um, and that little open back. It's just, I took myself on a date wearing this when I was trying to get my mojo back and I felt really beautiful. But I think I just need to double check it. And there's a big stain right at the front. Sad day. I'm definitely keeping this. I love me some rainbows. Um, this is the, you know, old style where it's like the skirt underneath stops halfway and the rest is sheer. It is bandeau top just really comfortable really beautiful summery still fits this is really funny too because this is something i found at the thrift store and i was like i'm never gonna wear this and i wear it all the time this is it's like a popular brand like you would find at the mall i think it's a, just another bandeau top cotton feels super soft really comfy where are you tag yeah, wet seal, you guys. Do you remember wet seal? All right. <laughs> so, bodycon skirts. When was the last time I wore these? I do have a great picture in this blue one. So this blue one is a maybe. I just don't wear, it's not that I don't enjoy it, but we just don't go anywhere right now to be wearing sexy stuff. And I don't actually feel comfortable in things like this. So I'm gonna put this blue one, this rose one to the side, but I am gonna keep both of these black. They're both the same. I think they're H&M basics um, and they fit really well and they go with everything. So I am gonna keep these for now. This pantsuit I bought thrifting with my mom and there are some holes in it, but this is one of those things that even if it doesn't fit me, I'm not getting rid of it because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's made well. So it's a great brand. It's just chic. The pattern is beautiful. The material is high end. It's not like a fast fashion situation. It just feels really nice. Um, so I will be keeping this. This has a lot of memory too, and it is a little sexy. I have some pictures with Freddie wearing this, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, so these are, oh, my favorites right here. This is an 80s wool gem. This goes down to my knees, it's A-frame, it's like a big circle skirt, beautiful. This I found at Goodwill, just past, like literally walking to the front. Um, it had this belt thing on it that I ripped off. So it's this stretchy brown material at the top and then this black sheer all the way to, it's like a maxi skirt. It's not like one, it is one. Um, and this was my first day with Freddie. I was wearing this and a black turtleneck. So keeping both of those, those are my faves. And then this is a gold skirt that I'm never getting rid of. This is a color guard skirt. Um, that I had made for one of the last times I was a full-time color guard director and I choreographed a dance to a Hunger Games song and I was really really proud of that so keeping that because I actually wear it in real life and then this is a patchwork um, skirt that I got from my mom's closet it's something that actually fits me <laughs> 
Um, and I really wanted to take a couple of things of hers to keep with me. Um, so again, something else that like if it doesn't fit me again, that I will keep. Um, and it reminds me of being a school teacher. It's got little apples on it. So we are actually almost done. I have very little shirts. They're not like tiny shirts. I just have a small amount of shirts. Um, like I said, I really love flowy things, kimono, um, duster type things. This is something that my mom bought for me and I have a black one like this as well. And this is just freaking gorgeous. Just beautiful. And the color, it's like a periwinkle and we'll never get rid of that. We'll never say never, but you know. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I've had this one for a long time and I think it's really nice. Um, but I'm gonna put it in the maybe slash get rid of pile. Um, it's a creamier tone and I feel like it doesn't necessarily go with my skin tone as well. Like the creamier, warmer tones, I just, I don't know. This one I got at H&M, I saw this and I was like, ooh, this is going home with me. So this is inside out per the usual. And I like how I just said that I don't like creamy, like warm tone things. But that one looks dingy. This one actually looks peach. So I think that's the difference. Um, but look at the bottom of this. Isn't that just like the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? And so that hangs all the way down to my ankles. And I did wear this on another date as well with somebody else. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. It's a red rose. This is definitely a keeper. Okay, this is one that my mom was like, oh, if it doesn't fit you, just wear it as a duster because it's a dress. So I feel like a witch in it and I love it so, so much. It's got this embroidery at the top. And I just, oh, ghost story. Um, I feel like I need to keep things like this because I actually enjoy wearing them. Um, this is the black version of the Periwinkle one I just showed you. This is one of the shirts I got in Greece. I love it so much. I spent, I think I spent like 20 bucks a piece on these shirts. I got two shirts in Greece a couple years ago and <laughs> I felt like I was like splurging. There's some yellowing already around the neck, which is weird. I've only worn this a couple times, but I'm clearly keeping this because it's nice to have something I purchased on my travels that is not like a shot glass. You know what I'm saying? My other grease one that I actually haven't worn yet. I think I'm scared that I'm gonna like ruin it. But it is yellowing a little bit in that closet, which is weird. Um, yeah, how pretty, how pretty. Again, it's very see-through and sheer, so it's kind of hard, you know? And this, hmm. I don't know. It's very creamy. I think this is a maybe. I have some great memories in this. I have a great picture in this. I think it's beautiful. I just, I don't know. It's one of those like dingy colors that looks beautiful. My cousin Cynthia and my cousin Mandy and my sister Kelsey and my sister Bethany. And it looks like poop on me. So we'll see. Gifted to me by Freddie's mom. I think it just didn't fit her and I've thought about keeping this to wear over bathing suit so this is a maybe. I was really going to try it out this summer and then this summer didn't happen. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile to go through. This is something I will never get rid of. I bought this from my friend Kenzie when she was selling thrift, thrift uh, items, thrifted items. It's another inside out situation. Uh, just looks like paint splattered and it's a polyester perfection. Look at that. Oh man. By Sunny Lady. Yeah. Ooh, that's one of my favorite things. Oh, you know how they say that clothes really need to bring you joy. I'm telling you that brings me so much joy. So much joy. This is another like uh, Mexican style shirt that I really, really love. It's a lot thicker. It doesn't give as much. Um, got this beautiful embroidery at the top, so definitely keeping this beauty. All right, my gut says to get rid of this. I bought, I just, I really hate button-ups to be honest. And this is a men's shirt and it fits fine, but maybe Freddie will wear it. 
probably won't, but just in case. All right, but chambray shirts are another story because I have three. So I have a polka dot one. Let me just get all three out and come towards you. So I have a polka dot one. I have one with little star thingies on it. That's like a faded situation and then a long sleeve and I'm keeping all three of these babies. Here's some polyester, are you ready? I love this color family. I like when Freddie was like, I'm gonna put like purple stickers on your bike. And I was like, I want pink, I don't like purple. What is this though? Purple, purple, purple. Um, short sleeve, high neck, beautiful pattern, polyester. Same thing, polyester, beautiful, love it. Work shirts, I actually wear these with that black bodycon skirt, that like more professional look, do a little half tuck. Really, really pretty. One day I'll like wear regular clothes again. This one is not vintage, um, but I just really loved the pattern. It's got little red lips on it. And this is a newer purchase for me. Like I don't purchase brand new clothes very often, but I did purchase this and I, I think I got it at Marshall's or I was gonna say Trader Joe's. Ha, that's not right. Here's another vintage find when my cousin was here recently at a, a store on North Loop in Austin that I hadn't been to. And I was like, I don't know, do I need to spend the money? When I put it on, again, pure joy. Look at this. And this is actually a cotton shirt, so it's not polyester. Um, and it's got this cool, <laughs> oh, it's so neat. All right, this is a maybe. Friend Ariel gave me this. It's a little small. I love Kelly Green, so I am gonna try it on again and just see what I think. This is brand new. We bought this at Costco, but it's this gorgeous. Oh my God. It's this gorgeous blue. I think this is polo or what is this? No, DKNY jeans. Um, just a really pretty, like warmer short sleeve sweater, which is actually great for Austin. One of my favorite kind of things is like an oversized sweater with leggings and I bought this at a thrift store in Dallas recently with my friend Khalees and it goes like a little off the shoulder. It's really beautiful. It's from Loft. It's like orangey red. So keep in that. Um, this is one of my favorite thrift finds ever. My friend Elizabeth actually tagged me in this on Instagram a couple years ago and I wear it all the time. Like one of my more recent videos and Instagram posts I'm wearing this and it's got these little tassel -y things. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite pieces of clothing I own. So that is staying. This is a vest for my mom that does not fit, but I am keeping it because it smells like her. And then I have, um, I bought this Zara, um, blazer for prom when I dressed in a tux. And I do think I should keep it because I think it's a beautiful addition to anything in the closet. Um, it was just so much money, I felt bad, but I'm keeping it for now. Some new things, so these are old things from last year. So this is a huge oversized animal print cardigan, yes, keeping. This green one, I thought, what am I even like, I'm never gonna wear this. I wear this so much, and my sister Kelsey bought the exact same sweater in a different color, and I went back to try to find more in different colors, and I just should have done it then. This is a Walmart find, another oversized, this is an olive green. So I'm gonna hang that up. And then I have to hang these new vintage finds. This one is, again, I talked about all these in my more recent Instagram post. My camera's about to die, so I gotta hurry it up. Got some shoulder pads. This is my new caftan that I bought. Hello, la, la, la. I'm never going back to like mediocre caftans. I lost, I don't know what it is, but I lose my like school cardigans, my everyday cardigans. And so this is a big, thick, heavy um, black cardigan that's pretty long and it's got some pockets on the sides. Um, this is another Roby situation. Um, it's got some sheer sleeves, kind of similar to what I'm wearing now, but just all black. This is my black faux moto jacket that I'm wearing with my uh, Halloween costume. And the final thing, 
that I really should keep for my jacket situation. This is not the final thing, there's one more thing. Um, is this yellow le real leather jacket that I found at Savers for 30 bucks. It fits perfectly. Go watch my Instagram. My most recent Instagram post for like more details on this. And then my one more polyester perfection uh, short sleeved see-through grandma shirt. So those are all the things that I'm for sure keeping in the closet. I have a pile of things to go through. They're maybes, they're maybe sell, maybe donate, maybe put in a bag and save for later to see if I remember them, like them, fit in them. And yeah, stay tuned for next time. We'll go through another section of my closet. And yeah, that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.